It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 16th of June. I'm James Spann. We're drive through Friday. Tropical rain moves in this weekend. That rain could be heavy at times with a tropical depression that is expected to form in the western Gulf of Mexico soon. Let's talk about it. Here we go. This is the upper air look. And again, today we have that intense upper air high anchored over the four corners in the western states. Blistering heat there. We have a northerly flow aloft where we are on the eastern flank of that and an upper load that's currently over eastern Canada, north of Maine. But with that northerly flow aloft, it is a very dry air mass. The sky mostly sunny across the state with only a few fair weather cumulus clouds around. That was the radar this afternoon, the composite around 2 o'clock. Got a few scattered storms on the Louisiana coast, and that's about it. Temperatures not bad for a June day, mostly low and mid 80s, and the dew points are down in the 50s. That's a very comfortable feel to the atmosphere today. Typically, dew points can be in the 70s this time of the year. There's the watch warning map across the country. Again, out west, we have excessive heat warnings in effect. The east is fairly quiet. Got a marginal risk of severe storms on the South Atlantic coast from near Daytona Beach up to Charleston. A marginal risk for parts of Iowa and Minnesota. Tomorrow, a chance of severe storms over parts of the upper Midwest and the western Great Lakes. And day three, which is Friday, got a marginal risk on the coast of Louisiana. That's with a tropical system coming in from the south. Also a chance of severe storms from near Kansas City over to Buffalo. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The big number is right down here in the deep south with a tropical system. This is suggesting rain amounts could exceed seven to eight inches over parts of south Mississippi. South Alabama, southeast Louisiana. Amounts for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden around three inches and about an inch and a half for the shoals. But understand this could change as the system evolves in coming days. But the bulk of that rain will be over the weekend into Monday of next week. Let's talk weather in the tropics. The only system on the board is our uh, developing feature there in the Bay of Campeche, the far southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Now a 70% chance of this becoming a depression within 48 hours, and this will be moving in the direction of the Louisiana coast, and that's going to wet down much of the deep south over the weekend. So let's look at modeling here. The GFS, this is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. Got that intense upper high over the four corners out west, troughing off the upper Atlantic coast. And again, for us, a beautiful day. Sunny, we start the day in the 60s. The high will be close to 90, but the dew points will stay fairly low in the 50s. This is Friday. Got a broad tropical low approaching the Louisiana coast. We could see some rain for the southern quarter of the state, but most of Alabama still dry Friday. The sky partly to mostly sunny with low 90s likely. And Saturday as the weekend begins, the GFS depicting our tropical low north of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, with rain into most of Alabama. And the European, very similar. It's got the tropical low near Jackson, Mississippi. And it's starting to be pretty clear now that the rain will begin maybe as early as Saturday morning for the northern half of the state with widespread rain by Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. This is Sunday. We'll stick with the European. It's got the tropical low near Chattanooga. Still a moisture-laden tropical air mass in place, so a number of showers are likely. And again, we'll be watching the track of the surface low. South and east of that surface low, there could be a few isolated, brief spin-up tornadoes. And those are so hard to deal with. They're very short-lived and uh, hard to warn for. But just be aware, again, it could be the better chance that that will be over the southern half of the state, but certainly statewide, a big soaking. And then Monday, that surface low is over... Uh, Virginia, and we still have a uh, just a very moisture-laden air mass around. So a number of showers and storms are likely Monday as well. And then Tuesday, back to the GFS, evidence drier air beginning to work in from the north with a better chance of rain shifting down into South Alabama. And this is a week from today, Wednesday, June 23rd, troughing over the eastern states, and that looks dry for most of Alabama. So after tropical rains over the weekend and Monday, we will trend much drier by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday, June the 26th. Got a 594 Upper Ridge nosing in from the west, and that looks kind of hot and kind of dry, if this verifies. Rain for Birmingham from the GFS Ensemble. The mean about four inches between now and the 1st of July. Temperatures will be around 90 tomorrow, low 90s on Friday, then highs in the 80s. 
Lows in the upper 60s and low 70s after that. And hot off the presses, the brand new CPC outlook. This is for June 24th through June 30th, showing temperatures around here below average. And like we always say, good to see blue on that map this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at Span Book, with two N's, Span Book. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared, not scared. Get your kids a copy today.